Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and this is C++ from Scratch. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about template specialization. So in the previous video, we looked at function templates. So let's go ahead and open up that example again. So this function templates.cpp. Now the problem that we were trying to solve with function templates is this code duplication with respect to our functions. So if we say wanted to print out multiple uh, of these std arrays, say with different types, so say a std array of three integers and a std array of three floats, we were left with the situation where we had to write multiple versions of the same function here. Now, the way that we solved that was using function templates. So instead of generating all these versions of this function ourselves, we provided our compiler with a template to use to generate these functions for us. So all we had to do was provide our compiler with this template and then ask our compiler to generate the version for say a std array of three integers or a std array of three floats or any of these other array types we might be using. Now we sometimes run into problems when we're using function templates here. Sometimes we don't want to have the exact same function body for every single type, right? Sometimes there's a case where we need a specialization of this function. So maybe we want to handle, say, one of these array types slightly differently and not do, say, the same um, you know, function body that's inside of our template. And the way that we handle that is through this template specialization. So on the right-hand side of the screen here, uh, I have up again this function template reference page from cppreference.com and if you control f on that page for you know something like specialization you can find you know a bunch of references to this specialization that we can do both with you know the normal syntax and this abbreviated function syntax or abbreviated template syntax so we're just going to be covering the basics of this specialization today so let's go ahead and quit out of here and let's look at a new uh, example, right? It's going to be based on this print array concept. So I just have the, uh, you know, that previous example copied into a new file called template specialization.cpp. So let's go ahead and open up template specialization.cpp. And here we have this case where we have our print array template using that abbreviated uh, function template syntax. And we're using two different versions of that function, right? So we're using the instance of that template for a std array of three ints and a std array of three floats. Now let's say we want something slightly different to happen when we use um, our array of three integers, right? So we want a specialization for that type. So how would we do that? Well, it really just comes down to writing a function for that specific type. So for example, here we would, you know, just create another print array function. So the void return type print array Except this time, instead of writing a template, we're going to explicitly say the type that we want to pass to this function. So we want to pass a std array of three integers here. And we'll just call uh, that input array. And let's say that instead of, say, printing out these values here, we just want to print out something like we're printing from our template specialization. So we'll just use std cout and say printing from our specialization with a new line character. So now when we go ahead and use this specialized version of the template, um, we're not going to print out our array at all. We're just going to print out the string. Now there's one more thing that we need to do with the specialization. We need to tell our compiler that, you know, this is actually part of our template up here. We're just handling one of the cases for our compiler. And the way that we do that is with the template keyword again. So we just write template and with this empty template parameter list here. And this is just telling the compiler, hey, this function is part of this template print array right here. I'm just taking care of the case std array of three ints for you, right? So we have to include this template uh, open and closed angle brackets or less than greater than signs. Okay, so that's really all we need to do here. So let's go ahead and save this, uh, minimize it, and we can go ahead and compile this application. So we'll compile template specialization.cpp we'll call our output executable something like template specialization. And again, because we're using this abbreviated function template syntax um, that's part of C++20, um, we'll go ahead and use std equals C++20 to avoid any compiler warnings. So we'll go ahead and compile this. And you can see here that we've got our executable now. Um, and let's go ahead and run it. So we'll just run template specialization. And you can see here we get our two prints, right? So for our, you know, the case where we have, you know, a specialization of our template, where we um, explicitly said what we want, um, our print array function with the std array of three integers, 
um, what we want it to do, we get a print of printing from our specialization. While with our other case for our std array of three floats where we didn't have a specialization, we just use the code from the baseline template. So our compiler instantiates that code for us, right? So we have the cases where we're using both a specialization and kind of our baseline template generated code from our compiler. Okay. So that's going to go ahead and do it for today. That's the basics of you know, template specialization. This isn't something specific to C++20. We can of course do this template uh, you know, this template specialization with our normal template syntax, right? Where we have that template type name T thing going on. Uh, this is just an example using the C20 syntax. But like I said, that's going to go ahead and do it for today. I'll go ahead and link down this CPP reference uh, page below the video. And as always, you can find any of this code at github.com slash coffee before arch. Now that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.